You see it in the south globe of your computer screen, you know, there are mountains to climb. Coding, designing, storytelling, it's a lot of for one person. In my opinion, what's coming in the field of indie game development will be something like the transition farmers made from site to the combine harvester. Can you imagine that? For example, in the 5-10 years, a solo game dev will be able to create games like today's AAA titles. It's not taking over your job, it's just making the heavy lifting easier, so you can do more in less time. It won't kill the creativity you have. Now let's dive a bit deeper. You know those big expansive worlds in games that you can explore with 4 hours? With AI creating those won't be just for the big companies anymore. You will tell AI about the world you are dreaming of and it will start building it. Piece by piece. Exactly how you imagined. But here is the cool part. You are always the boss. AI will be the super fast builder following your blueprints. And I will say that again, it won't kill the creativity you have. It will make your ideas come to life faster. But AI won't just help with making things. It will be also there to polish your game, making sure it's as fun to play as possible. And we are not talking about AI taking the reins and making games on its own. It's all about supporting you, boosting what you can do and helping bring your vision to life in ways that were too hard or too time consuming before. It's about making sure your game, with all its quirks and charms, feels like it truly came from you. This partnership with AI will be really special. Because it's not about machines taking over the creative process. It's about them giving you a leg up, making sure your creativity shines through even brighter. As you start working on your next game, remember, AI is not replacing you. It's like the best tool in your toolbox, ready to help you turn your big dreams into reality. To conclude, I want to say that I'm currently developing an indie game, but for now, I'm not using AI. In my opinion, to get the most of artificial intelligence, you first need to learn and understand what and how something works. Imagine this scenario. You want to switch from riding a bike to driving a car, but you don't know how to drive. You accelerate and cover a certain distance, much faster than you would on a bike, but exactly. At some point, you may not be able to control the car and it could end in tragedy. That's why, in my view, it's most important to first learn how to create something and only then use artificial intelligence as a potential assistant. With this summary, we've come to the end of this video. Share your thoughts on what's coming in the next few years. Thank you very much for watching this video and see ya!